PDF documents have become an integral part of our daily lives. And in this video, I want to show you how easily you can edit, sign, or reorganize your PDF documents using Ashampoo PDF Pro 4. My name is Axel Gherkin from the Ashampoo team, and in this video, you'll receive nine tips for effective work with PDF Pro 4. Enjoy the video. Tip number one, scan and rotate documents. Before I begin, I always like to set up the thumbnail view in the sidebar to get a better overview of the document. You can easily do this by going to the View menu, selecting Sidebars, and then enabling Thumbnails. Now, let's move on to scanning. You can insert individual pages directly from the scanner through the Pages menu. By clicking on From Scanner, the page is inserted directly into the existing document from a connected scanner. Afterward, in the same Pages menu, you can use the Rotate function to easily adjust the scanned page to the correct orientation. Tip number two, proper use of digital signatures. Digital signatures, often referred to as electronic fingerprints, securely link a signer to a document through an encoded message. To create a digital signature, you first need a certificate issued by a certification authority. The signing process is typically done in a PDF editor. You'll also need a graphic to display as the signature on the document. This could be your scanned signature or simply your name as a graphic file. You decide. Navigate to the Digital Signature section in the Document menu and click Add. Use your mouse to draw a box in the area where the signature should appear in your document. A prompt will open where you can select the certificate. After entering your password, the validity period of the certificate will be displayed. Using the Define button, you can set one or more graphics for the signature that you can use in the document later. Depending on the signature graphic setting, clicking Sign will apply the current date and integrate the signature into the PDF document. Finally, the document is saved with the signature. Tip number three, set up and use the Quick Access Toolbar. Frequently used features can be easily set up here for quick access. We've pre-configured a few important functions for you, which can be accessed immediately with a click. These include the Open function, Save and Undo, to name a few. Using the small arrow, you can now disable functions for quick access or add new ones. All functions with a checkmark are enabled for quick selection. To deselect a function, simply click with the mouse so that the checkmark disappears. Through more commands, you can add more functions, such as export in my example. Tip number four, fill out forms digitally. To fill out a form, select the Text Plus tool. When you hover over the form with your mouse, you can identify the input fields by the dotted line that flickers slightly. By clicking on the respective field, you can immediately start entering the content. After completing all entries, you can easily save the PDF document under a new name. Tip number five, creating interactive forms. An interactive PDF is a document where you can add text fields, buttons, or checkboxes, making form and text fields fillable on a computer. 
To demonstrate this, I'll create a new PDF document and go to the Insert menu. I want to create two text fields for first and last names and include a checkbox in the form. In the first step, I'll use the text tool to label the input fields. For this, I'll use the text box function. Next, I'll drag the text boxes to the desired position with the mouse. You can immediately start entering content for the text box. The size and position can be adjusted using the handles. A double click allows you to enter edit mode for the text box later. Create a text box for first and last names. Next, I'll insert a text box as a form field. To do this, I click on Form Field and select the text box. Then, I drag the box to the desired position with the mouse. Now, I'll choose the fill color and border through the properties. Right click on the text box and give the field a name. I'll create another text box for the last name in the same way. If you want to make changes to the form field text box, you can do so again using the form field slash text box function. Clicking directly on an existing form field will take you to edit mode. Otherwise, the system assumes you want to fill out the form. Now comes the checkbox, which can be placed in the same way as the text box. Just select the checkbox option in the form field function. Finally, save the PDF document. Open it for testing, for example, with an internet browser and fill out the fields. Tip number six, change the order of the pages. The order of pages in a PDF document can be easily changed. Simply go to the Pages menu and click on the Reorder function. Select the page you want to move in the first section and define the new position in the second section. Finally, click OK to complete the process. Tip number seven, properly redacting text sections. PDF documents may contain confidential text passages that need to be obscured before sharing. Redacting ensures that the confidential text is not just covered, but physically removed from the PDF file, replaced by a black or differently colored rectangle. Redacted text is also removed from the invisible metadata of the PDF file, including bookmarks and text in comments. In the first step, I will define how the redaction of text passages should appear. You can find these settings in the review, Redact Style menu. In my example, I want the confidential text passages to be displayed in black and additionally labeled with the word Redacted. I will set it up this way and confirm with OK. Now, highlight the text section you want to redact and activate the function using the keyboard shortcut, Control plus Shift plus R. If you want to redact only specific terms that occur repeatedly, you can best do this using the search and redact function. Open the review menu and enter the term to be redacted under the find and redact function. With a click on redact all, everything found will be redacted without further prompts. Using the Next Redact button, you can navigate through the document and must confirm each found term for redaction individually. In my example, I want the word grammar to be redacted throughout the text. I will set it up this way and click on Redact All. 
you will then be informed of the number of found texts, and you can complete the action by clicking OK. Tip number eight, setting document security. Not every PDF document should be viewed, edited, or printed by third parties. You can configure all security settings through the Document Security menu. The Security Level option allows you to define the degree of encryption. Selecting 256-bit AES provides the highest level of encryption. Additionally, a password can be set here for opening the PDF document, as well as a master password, which allows for changes to the document's security. Tip number nine, use optical character recognition. With optical character recognition, usually referred to as OCR, you can extract text from images and convert it into editable text. As an example, I opened a section of an image intended for a newsletter. You can find this function under the Pages menu. By clicking on Recognize Text, I initiate the function. Here, I set the language of the text and select the specific pages, in case I don't want to process all pages. Clicking OK starts the text recognition process. Immediately after, I click on OCR Corrections to fix any potential errors. By clicking Start and then Start OCR mode, you enter the editing mode. In my example, some bullet points are misinterpreted. I easily remove these with a few clicks and then export the result as a plain text document. That concludes our nine tips for now. We hope you enjoy using Ashampoo PDF Pro 4. If you liked the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the best information on a variety of programs. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and see you next time.